Thank you, Eric, for the introduction. Yes, my name is Atakan Chetinsoy. I'm with uh, Strands Personal Finance as a VP of uh, Product Marketing. And uh, Strands Personal Finance uh, has been around since 2008. We initially built a PFM solution for uh, our investor, BBVA, a large bank in, in Spain that was launched uh, in the same year. And it was very well received. And uh, Forrester Research actually came up with a case study showing it as a great example of a PFM implementation in Europe in 2009. Later on in 2009, in March timeframe, we launched our direct-to-consumer uh, site called Money Strands. And up to date, we have been able to get a registered user count of 170,000 people. And uh, we have gone on to uh, also implement a PFM solution recently that's launched this year for a large bank in the Netherlands. And we are in the midst of implementation for several, several, several other large banks in North America and, and Europe. So we've been getting some great traction. Part of the success of uh, our B2B uh, side, I think, is uh, definitely uh, dependent on the feedback, the customer feedback we're getting from our MoneyStrands.com users. So that's letting us innovate faster and, and iterate faster. So today I'm going to show you the, the new design of the first major redesign, a sneak preview, if you will, of MoneyStrands. This is our new look and feel. As you can see, it's a pretty clean uh, look and feel that's more compact. We've eliminated certain... Uh, uh, tabs to, to make navigation easier. We're now using some sub-mini structures, grouping like use cases together. Uh, all of these things that uh, you see on the screen, the different areas, are still actually widgets, and they're portable to, to other kind of shapes uh, that, uh, that we can uh, develop for you. Uh, and um, as you can see here, some of the best features we've kept. Uh, you can still add uh, new banks, either through automatic aggregation or by manual file uploads. You can uh, set a number of alerts. We actually support eight different kinds of alerts, such as large deposits. In addition to that, we have, of course, like every PFM tool should, uh, pretty powerful transaction manipulation uh, tools available, such as rules for categorization, or editing uh, new transactions, or editing multiple transactions. And of course, what's a PFM tool without a nice pie chart? As you can see, you can uh, drill down to whatever types of expenses you're interested in. You can adjust uh, the timeline, and uh, you can look at the, the bar chart view as well. So this is all fine and dandy, but uh, we didn't stop there, of course, uh, as we have been evaluating uh, new features and functionality that our users on Money Strands have been asking for repeatedly. Uh, we came across the, the, the billing functionality that was much um, asked for. And uh, this is a, a nice build calendar view. As you can see, uh, now Money Strands users can uh, actually um, account for their recurring expenses. And uh, the color codes actually stand for paid or unpaid or approaching bills. We also provide a weekly view. And we also have a list view where we give the user a pretty good understanding of what's coming in the next 30 days versus what's happened in the last 30 days. So. It's very important, for, we believe, to be able to integrate your build pay solution into uh, your, your PFM tool. And so we have now the, uh, the place to, to host it, if you will, within a PFM implementation, if you're considering it. So on the, uh, the goals and budgeting side, uh, we now have a new and advanced, uh, much improved budgeting process. One thing we uh, realized early on is budgeting is something a lot of people need. 77% of uh, workers in the US uh, are living paycheck to paycheck, according to Harris Interactive poll recently. And uh, yet, people are scared from it because it's been uh, traditionally a very cumbersome experience. So we set out to really change that. We've listened to a lot of user feedback, gone through ma many uh, iterations. Now we have a four-step wizard process, which starts by uh, accounting for your income. A lot of people don't have too many sources of income, so this is a rather quick step. In this case, our test user, Monica, has uh, $4,200 in income from her salary. And, um, in the next step, we're accounting for expenses. We already have this data in our system. So we're looking at areas where she can cut back most on. As you can see, something like uh, rent is actually a, a big expense, yet it's not easy to cut back on. So it's not by default checked. And she already has some um, items that she's looking to budget for. But if she chooses to, she can always add uh, new items. For example, Monica, in this case, is an avid traveler, so she wants to uh, add uh, travel as a budget category, and we're going to click that and go to the next step. And that's where things get uh, more interesting, actually. 
Uh, one of the challenges, of course, is when people are asked to guess what amount they want to budget, um, you know, they usually find that uh, like a big chore and they try to um, move away from it. And that's where I think a lot of the fall off happens. So to avoid that situation, we kept it simple. We wanted to basically uh, focus, make them focus on what do you want left at the end of the month? Just tell us that. Is it 5% of your income? Is it uh, maybe 7, 8%? And while you do that, we're adjusting the target amounts that you need on the side. So if you don't like one of the things that we've made the adjustments on, you can always say, lock this, put in your own number, so we will stop messing with it. But in this case, let's assume that Monica is pretty happy with this, goes to the next stage. So she's planning to save about nearly $300. That's not a bad start for someone that hasn't been saving uh, all along. And this is the last optional step, actually. And uh, here, as you can see, we've laid out a 12-month plan for you. Imagine how many people would fill out a spreadsheet like this if that's what we show them in the first place. Uh, I think we all know that only the obsessive-compulsive types would, would go for this. But we're here in this to make this plan even more accurate. We do realize there are certain expenses that fluctuate over time. And in this case, let's assume that Monica is looking forward to her uh, trip to New York to see her family for Thanksgiving. So let's say she wants to budget $500 that particular month. Let's save this amount. Now, as you can see, the savings rate is also adjusted. And um, she's pretty much finished. So as usual, Money Strands is now going to take care of all the alerts and making sure that uh, she keeps herself honest and achieves her future spending goals uh, as appropriate. We also have some new features coming up, such as savings goals. We're going to be launching this in, in November time frame. If you're interested in a PFM application, please come find us because we feel we can deliver you the differentiated PFM application that you really need. Thanks for your time.